What's up everyone and welcome back for more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode I wake up, well I woke up, a man who has some awesome snoring abilities. And in this episode I need to infiltrate Hyrule Castle. So what I gotta do is move this huge cow block thing. I could have done that off screen but I don't know why I should. It's not that time consuming. So what I'm gonna do... I don't really care if it's night. Night or day doesn't really matter inside the castle. So... It turned night, nothing special here. And I'm moving the other block. All the way. To the top. And to the right, because I can. And... One... Zero! Now I can climb up this. Take a jump, go in here. Yeah, I can keep the caco for now. There's nothing special, but I can keep it. And now we're in... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, I got a problem, I guess. No, wait. I'll just wait out of here. This is actually the first time I'm infiltrating Hyrule Castle at night, because... I should have known this. Well, anyways... Yeah, I can still reach from here, but... I'll just wait here. That was really awkward, by the way. It was like... Oh, hi. How you doing? What's up? You want a drink? But, yeah. I'll just wait until it's time. More skipping for the win. So, catch up in a moment. Good morning! And now we can actually enter. Oh, darn it. So let's go in here. Now this is actually some sort of sneaking game. All you need to do is to make sure that you're not getting caught. And I hope I can make this in time. Yes, I can. I really hate waiting. So here are two guards, so make sure you are careful here. If you do it like this, you should be fine. Just wait a moment, be patient, make sure you're not getting caught, and yeah. No slot, I guess. Well, this is a little bit tricky because he's gonna move to the right, and while he's moving to the right, the upper. Oh, wait, never mind. The left one is quicker. So we're gonna go up here. I'm totally gonna ignore these rupees because I can get them faster and more safe. So what I need to do is walk up here, really. And definitely don't fall off, that's better. Now, what do you have to say? I wonder where we'll Oh my god, Navi, seriously. Can you please go away and remain gone forever or something? I wonder where we're gonna find the princess. I actually should have said that where the princess is. I should actually try that. Well, anyways, I can't go back here. So, you can just walk. And I'll have to wait until this guard moves his ass. And they're all ha both halfway actually. So what I need to do is make sure that yeah, this one's quicker. Now wait until the one where I'm facing to goes to the right. And hopefully he's on time. Yes he is. Thank you. Now we only got one more, and this one's a little nah. It's not tricky at all. No, I cannot see forward. So I'm just gonna ma make sure this left dude moves. Now I can actually chase him a little bit here. That statue in the middle, who would that be? Yeah, my historical knowledge is 0, 0. Or as I would call it, 0. Point nothing. Because I have no idea what that is. So anyways, we get here. Fairly easy. And we're gonna go to the princess's place. And if you look at the right, you can see some images from Yoshi, Wario and Mario, and if you shoot this, you can get 20 rupees out of it. However, if you shoot the other one, which I can't see over there, they all throw a bomb at you. So let's not do that. So, we're not gonna get a rose or anything, we'll just walk straight to the princess. And 
Wow. You really s sank into mines if you don't see me. So I'll just go like... Yeah, this is like... <laughs> what the f What the hell? Okay, this makes no sense. But okay. <gasps> Whoa! Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Because they suck. Get better ones. Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then... Are you... Are you from the forest? Then... Then... You would not happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Well, you can say no, but she won't believe you anyways. Just as I thought. I had a dream. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away by my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What's your name? Particle. Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Particle. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. No. Now let's do it. The legend goes like this. No, we are gonna play the legend. It's the legend of Zelda, duh. But anyways, back to the story. The three goddesses hit the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. Touching it is enough, as you can see in the Wind Waker later. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. Contradictionary. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Typhers from evil ones. Okay. So the Temple of Time actually protects the sacred realm in some way. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance to which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand the story? Yep. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man in there. I'll take a look. And see what that is. And that's Ganondorf indeed. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos, that I held from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered at Hyrule, in my dream, they must symbolize that man. And he's looking at it. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry, he doesn't have any idea what we're planning, yet. Yes, I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. Yeah, you're the wise one. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Particle, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Yeah, I can say I don't believe you. That makes me pissed off. But I'll just be like, okay, thank you. I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. 
Let's get to Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. Du -du 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 and I got Zelda's letter, with Princess Zelda's autograph. Sell, sell, sell. Well, actually, no, we don't need to sell if we need to show it to people to get permission to certain areas. Which is actually one, but okay. And as you can see, there is someone over there who actually was eavesdropping upon us. So I'll just walk to him and see what he has to say. Or actually she, considering her breast. Yeah, sorry, I can't help to notice that. I am Impa of the Shikas. Or Shikas. Actually, Shikas. I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I've played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Through his mouth and his fingers. Memorize this song. And this song is held as lullaby and it is the most important song in the game. I think. Even though there are close seconds, so... Oh. Whoops. Whoops. I'll do it like this. Yeah, I missed press one button. Sorry. We played Zelda's Lullaby! And the ocarina shines with a mysterious light and Zelda's watching like, what the hell are they doing? She has no idea, princess. You've learned Zelda's lullaby. Sweet. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Thank you. Not really sure if that's what I wanted. But thank you. Mm, what I'm saying, nevertheless. That's a whack word. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Dev Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the Spirit of Stone of Fire. Which we need. At the foot of Dev Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Dev Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. So I'm a royal family member, I guess. Remember, it will help to prove your connections with the royal family. Your princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. I'm not really sure if I timed it right, but she's gone. True deck or not, I wish I could do that. So, now we got an ocarina, a letter, and all sorts of stuff. Now, we're not gonna go to Kakariko, which is over there, that mountain, we're gonna go over there. Which is London Ranch. And can I sidestep that? Let's see. Yeah, it makes a terrible amount of noise if you're playing just normally. But it definitely speeds up your walking. And it's used in a lot of speedruns, by the way. Can I make it, please? Yeah, I made it. Which is sweet. So we enter Lom Lom Ranch, where, Ipo where um, oh man, I gave it away, where Epona is and Melon. And before I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna get my Ocarina out of here, save, and cut it off. So in the next episode, we are gonna see what we're gonna do here in Lom Lom Ranch, and then we're off to Kakariko Village to get the Spiritual Stone of Fire. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, sub. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, y'all.